Okay, so the energies um, that are going into May are distinctly going to help prepare people for um, the what I might term the turning of the wheel, another pivot point. So some of the things to know is that um, you'll feel tiny starts and stops. It's an important time to get your ducks in a row, get some, certain things aligned, and by paying attention to yourself, so whatever that means for you, because in some ways our hands are tied right now. But it could mean um, get your appointments in that you're able to, like medical appointments, therapy, physical therapy, anything like that. Work on your brand new life, not just a lifestyle, because this is going to have to mean real change, real true change, not a temporary pause in the action and then right back to everything. It's not easy to figure out what to change, but it has to start with you. So how do you know if there's, first of all, if there's things you've been putting off, start attending to it, okay? Because you'll, you'll feel it one way or another. You will feel it. You'll feel like there's a shackle around your ankle. You'll feel like some limb isn't operating properly. You'll feel like a broken wing energy or something. You'll feel it. And furthermore, only you can do it in your environment, in your community. So if it, if it involves working with another person or system or organization, start that process now. If it's a breakup or divorce, start it up now. If it's a custodial agreement, start that up now. If it has to do with your health, start it now. Okay, don't put it off and don't like you have to keep your routine and get your routine going there's a lot of things falling apart you can't let yourself fall apart and you have to focus on yourself even more focus on you and you do this in two ways because this is a part of being multi-dimensional again you're going to have to navigate in two dimensions and that's where it gets weird for people oh hang on the being multidimensional is going to be highly important for the latter part of the year. Now, there is a distinct difference between the fourth dimension and the level that you once dreamed at and the actual true new fifth dimension. And people may not think of it as being new, but it is also up-leveled. Okay, so we're not going backwards in time. We're not going back to the time of Atlantis or anything like that. doesn't matter if you feel like you were a part of it. You're pulling your essence away from those timelines. And as you do so, this can become very um, disconcerting where you don't know what to do next. And it requires you to make the connections with the highest part of you possible. So at this time, for the time frame that we're in, there's a big shutdown. There's, there's just levels and timelines continuing to shut down and collapse. They're not supported anymore. You're not going to be supported in, um, you know, holding up any of your exes. You're not going to be supported in upholding a lifestyle that isn't ultimately healthy for you or your family. Um, if your work lifestyle is also unhealthy, that there's things about that that are going to have to change. And some of this is um, going to feel like it's accelerated, like you get pushed. And it might feel like you're pushed by the universe to do something. And I can tell you that the more you cooperate with it, the better off you're going to be. It's when people resist or people still try to do the same old things and discover it's not working for them in the same way. And it could be anything that you're trying to do the same, the same old rituals, the same old meditations, the same old exercise routine, the same old foods, you know, the same old uh, whatever. That's going to have to be where it shows up to change. And the person you were a couple of months ago is going to be a different person in the latter part of this year. 
Much of this is intended to get easier for people who put in the work. But putting in the work is not going to be certain things. It's not going to involve a lot of the internet. It's going to involve getting back to a genuine brand new life that incorporates both of you. So on the one hand, you're doing what you can to sort of situate your life and make nice with people and get along or get along to the best of your ability. And that's, that's the topic in my relationships is to um, hone your skill at being able to do that so that you always have these um, skill sets. The, the moon energy is um, going to drive a lot of this. So if you are cognizant of how you feel in diff different lunar cycles, um, that will help guide you. The part of it that confuses people a lot is um, trying to, honestly, trying to tune into a human being, okay? If you're trying to glean what the other human is doing, it it's, might elude you, okay? And you have to discern the difference between the higher part. So if you have not had those experiences, be open to it because Unless you do, unless you make the time and the space to actually open yourself and pack it into your schedule. If you do not pack this stuff into your schedule, um, that too is not going to serve you well. If you have um, loneliness and you're finding that you're distracting yourself way too much with the internet, you're looking to see what this person says and that person says and what's happening with the collective and what's on the media and what's, cut it, cut it out. <laughs> you have to cut some in order to get yourself where you're going because people will still dilly-dally. Don't be part of the group that is going to dilly-dally. Some people are dilly-dallying and it is not going to help them. And even if some people have known about this and some people have known that there's a shift and there's energies and there's um, chakras and there's like somehow a new body, if they're not doing any of the body work, leave them in your dust and keep moving yourself. Just like you would if someone is out there, you know, riling against something and they need to get that out of their system. Don't participate in it. Get to where you need to go. And you would do better off um, helping yourself than reaching out to 10 different people if that's what you need. So, you know, a lot of people find that in a crisis, especially of this magnitude, that they, they want to be of service. But I can't view it like this. It's sort of like being on that airplane. Unless you put on the oxygen mask yourself, and get yourself better or keep yourself stable, you cannot turn around to other people the same way you would if you are strong and healthy and you have a strong immune system and you are getting things in your own life done. Do not put off your own things in favor of other people because people will grab on. This is a big part of um, what has hindered people is that drowning person's energy. Other people are drowning and they're going to climb on you to um, get you to help them. And they'll climb on your shoulders and submerge you if you let them. People don't think that they're doing it, but it happens. And it happens in ways that are sort of like not really caught on to immediately. So pay attention to you. Part of paying attention to you is gauging where your energies are at every single day because if you're feeling highly emotional and other people might trigger you for just, I mean, you could feel like a stiff breeze rolls past you and you get annoyed. Some days are like that. And you have to break it down into what do you need to do for just that day, just for today. Okay. And that will serve you well. So, um, the other thing is, unless you get the heaviness out of the past and get this moving with body work, um, it's not going to matter if you read about it. If you don't actually do movements and get your channels open 
and get some of the other um, areas working up and running, that too will at some point feel like it hinders you. So um, I hope that, you know, I'm giving you some insights on what's coming up here because this is, um, you know, this is taking on a proportion where I think people are going to feel like they're on that treadmill unless they start making genuine changes. And part of the change has to be that transformation of the old template away from you with all of its heaviness and the new template being started to be integrated. Okay.